is the four hole challenge. We're down here at Silvermere Golf Club and I've been joined by my great mate and top man, Wayne Bridge. How are we, mate? All right, mate. Yeah. All right. I'm a bit nervous, like. Can't play for a while. I had a couple of bottles of red last night, so... <laughs> you don't play for eight months great preparation. three bottles of red. <laughs> <laughs> Quite fit, though. Yeah. <laughs> you can run it, yeah? Yeah. Right, let's go. Four! <laughs> Where did that go? It's like, there's no the driving range. It's like near that. <laughs> Seriously? It's, it's over the trees, I think. Yeah? Yeah. We'll find it. Come on, pal. Straight. Where? That's straight down the middle. I can't see it. Along the floor, but it's straight down the middle. It's decent. But did it not get off the floor? Huh? Along the floor. But it didn't get off the floor. Didn't get off the floor, oh, but it's it? decent. Oh, I was looking up there, thinking I can't <laughs> see it. Um, how long have you been playing for golf? Well, it's how long you've been playing for, but how much do you play, really? Yeah. I didn't start till I, I'd retired, when I holiday to Portugal, and I just got into it. Yeah. And it was one of them things. I'm, I kind of get into things, and I go full hog, get all the gear, and then after a few months, I go on to something else. Have you got like one of those addictive personalities and just like once you get into something you've just got to do it? Do oh it, yeah, massively. It. Like I get addicted to a lot of things like snowboarding I got addicted to, you know, then I started skateboarding, getting long boards. Um, yeah, I get into everything. Boxing, yeah. got into boxing. So I took that took that to the extreme and started, had a couple of fights. It's like my fitness thing, like I get addicted to it, like I just want to work out every day, like I find it hard to take the rest days. Yeah. I just want to keep doing it, yeah. That's amazing. Back to golf, we, we've had a knock, haven't we? Have you, uh, you ever found your, dri <laughs> you ever found your driver here? I haven't, he's got a new driver. This is my mate's driver. I haven't brought a new one yet. And I don't even know if you actually found the head either. <laughs> what a trick yeah, shot. that was a great shot, that. I can't believe it. Take one as well, wasn't it? Absolute shitting. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, it's here. Watch this. Oh, stop it. Oh, this could be it. Shitting. <laughs> Shooting! <laughs> How much was that club? How much that club cost me? I said four pounds and so quid. <laughs> Shooting! My dad was on that trip, wasn't he? <laughs> Your dad is a legend. Yeah, he's quality. How is he, by the way? He's good. He's good, mate. He's, yeah. Um, he's plodding along. Like it's a little pub visit. Yeah. In Cobham quite a bit. Nice. Was he, he's was great he... with the kids. Yeah. Yeah, he's always he's always good with the kids. It's funny though, because it's like two four year olds chatting to each other sometimes. <laughs> he's like half deaf and it's like they're having totally different right? conversations. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you retired in 2014. Do you miss it? Yeah, I do. Um, I think I miss the being told what to do kind of thing, if you get what I mean. It's the routine, getting up, going training. Um, I love I loved it when I first retired. I miss the buzz of playing. I miss competition. I miss competing for something. Um, yeah, I do miss it. Yeah. I didn't think I'd miss it as much as I did. I kind of felt like I was ready to retire. Really? Yeah. It was quite young though, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought I was ready. What do you mean by you thought you were ready? Uh, well, at Man City, it was quite. I didn't really go to plan for me. I kind of had enough of football a little bit. And I went to Brighton. I loved it. I think I could have stayed at Brighton for another few years. Yeah. Um, but obviously, I went to Reading. My knee gave up on me. But then, after that season at Reading, I felt like kind of let them down a little bit. Cause I didn't play many games. I was struggling with my knee, and I just thought, oh, I'm done here. Were you struggling mentally as well because of, <laughs> because of the knee and stuff like that? I think I went through stages at City where I struggled mentally. The manager used to do med in, and I was playing with the kids all the time. And I had a new lease of life at Brighton. The manager was great. The lads were great. Fans were great. I was playing good football. Yeah. And then Reading, it was injury. I always struggled with injuries. I hate being around something you can't do. Yeah. It's like going to a mountain full of snow and standing there, you can't snowboard. <laughs> yeah. so what's, what's the point? Lovely, lovely like, mountains. Yeah. <laughs> you go into training, you do all the boring stuff, all the rehab stuff. It's just, you just do my head in. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. There's what your ball mean? straight down the middle. Yeah. Right, straight down the middle, Bridgie. There we go. Yeah, green is round to the left, my nice friend. Nice and easy. This feels very foreign to me at the moment. That's a shot though. Got over this. 
Yeah, ah, see it drop, I see it drop. Not a bad effort though. Connection was all right, wasn't it? Effort. Has ev everyone you've played with been quite good? The standard's been decent. Yeah. Um, Jimmy Bullard the best. Yeah, Jimmy, I'm real though, isn't he? Yeah. Well, no, when yeah. I say that, I played with Matt Fitzpatrick and Beef. Oh yeah. And they're proper goal, I mean, unbelievable. Watching an actual pro play golf is different level. And Beef, you love Beef, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beef! <laughs> There we go. I lost that. Take that. I lost it. Take that, take that. That stayed quite low. And party, yeah. yeah. With me, like, because I, I do, with my job, soccer and in the summer I get all right. But yeah. it's, it's, it's like anything, though. If you keep doing it, yeah. you get better. But yeah, I'm still, <laughs> still bang average, yeah. as you can see. I just don't make the time for it anymore. Because I, I had the same shoe, I like going to the gym. So if I take yeah. the kids to school, I go and have a workout. Yeah pick them up. I don't make the time for golf anymore, really. No. But talking about the gym, you are an absolute beast, aren't you? <laughs> Mate, you're Apparently. Like, no, you are. <laughs> you are. I've seen all the videos on Instagram and stuff. Like, do you think you're fitter now <coughs> than you were when you were an actual footballer? No. Maybe in some aspects. I think mentally, I, I think mentally I push myself a lot. Like, I could just, I just feel like I can keep going. Yeah. But I feel like I was always like that in a football pitch. You know, I was faster back then. I could probably run longer back then. Yeah. But, you know, for, I, do, I do burpees now. I've probably never even done a burpee back then, really. So it's different so kinds it's of just, Yeah, it's different. I feel like, you know, I boxed. I found boxing really hard and then got into it and got really fit at boxing. Um, I think if I went back to play football now, yeah. A lot of the stuff I do is either straight line stuff, if I go for a run and stuff. Right, okay, yeah. With football, it's all the change in the directions, you know, just working different muscles. And I think I'd wake up the next morning and I'd be struggling to walk properly. Yeah. But you've got your own fitness plan, haven't you? You've just literally walked yeah. out a few, a few weeks ago. Swipe up to watch, get that on there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> link, no, we're on a, on a serious <laughs> note, we're going to put a link down below. It is, it is brilliant. Yeah, check it out, please, please yeah. do check it out. It's one of them things that I've always wanted to do. Yeah. And. I don't know, I've just never believed in myself enough to go and do it really. And in the end, I just thought, oh, sod it. I'm going to go do it. And hopefully it works. It's just something I love. I think I could have done the easy route really, gone into punditry and stuff with football. Yeah. Really. To, but it's just not really me. No. I'm not. I think the people that do the punditry, the lads, I think they're so good at it. Yeah. And I think they live and breathe football and watch it a lot and take notes on everything. Yeah. Whereas it's not really me. It's and just me. The fitness plan, who's it aimed at? It's for everyone. everyone. I think, you know, it's for everyone. Um, and you can push yourself as much as you want to push yourself. Right. So I like to think, you know, even people that think they're super fit, still give it a go, you'll get something out of it. Right. Um, so it's for all, all types. You, everyone, geese. I know you do. You're I'm, looking good, geese, doing, to be fair. I'm doing all I right. I noticed the progress is looking good. Yeah, I'm doing um, all right. Right, choose. Bit of friendly advice. Friendly advice? Yes. I'm thinking I've just got to punch it out. I think that's all you can do, mate. Towards that little no, trick. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah. No, no, because the green's so. around there. Green's around the corner. So if you give it a little... Uh, all right. little punch reel. That's nice. No, no, stop. Stop. <laughs> it's about time you had a <laughs> golfer on your YouTube channel anyway. <laughs> oh, he's put it in the Bunksville, Tennessee. <laughs> I want to go for a punch as well. Little punch and Judy. Watch out for that bunk on the yeah. left. Little seven iron. Little punch. Take that. Perfect. Not Perfect, like that. mate. Perfect. Come on. Um, I have to say congratulations, mate. Celebrity SAS. Yes. Winner. Winner. <laughs> mate, that I was really sensational. I missed it, yeah. Unbelievable. It's been one of the best experiences of my life, I think. Yeah? By far, yeah. It was, um, I didn't realise I'd feel how I'd feel coming out of that. Unbelievable. But you made a lot, a lot of friends. People absolutely, when you came out, people absolutely loved you. Yeah, they did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's not, I'm being serious though. Yeah, you sh you I had a lot of good, I had good feedback. I've had a lot of good feedback. Um, it's, it's, you just got you just you at the end of the day on that. I think you're, yeah. you're so tired, you're so drained, 
and every time they start, I didn't want to cry. The first time I went on that show, I was like, I don't want to cry. Right. I cried on Celebrity Jungle, and I've been called a crybaby so many times. I've stepped interrogation, they started asking questions, they started bawling my eyes out. But it must be, like, like you say, it must be hard not to cry because <coughs> some of the things they make you do are redonkulous, aren't Yeah, they? I think the stuff you do physically is, is ridiculous, but I love that because for me, it's kind of like a switch off button for me. Right. I kind of like just get in the zone yeah. and don't f and just keep moving. Like the stuff, I wouldn't stop. Like you had to carry like, I think you had like 25 kilos or 23 kilos in a the bag. Then you had like a 25 kilo log and you got to climb this mountain. And it's so steep. You're literally, you're just walking like that, just putting one foot in front of the other. You couldn't yeah. go any quicker. But people were just taking a break and I just, I'm just like, I just get in that zone and I just, I just keep moving. Yeah. I'm like, what's the point in stopping? Cause you got to get up there somehow. How do you zone out to that? How do you, what, what are you thinking about? I literally just don't think. I literally don't think. Sometimes again, it's just, I breathe, it's really weird. It's not, it's not at and all. I think about like every breath, like, that's my right foot. And then my breath out again is my right foot. So I <sighs> just get into like a rhythm. Yeah. I don't let myself get out of that rhythm. And I think if you then stop, right. it's hard to get going again. So I just keep going. That's mad, isn't it? It is crazy, really. I just switch off. It's just, it's like a meditation for me, really. Yeah, yeah. And when you were crying, that was more to do with the, the mental side of it, wasn't it? Yeah, I've like, it's weird because I've probably never really admitted it to myself or, well, I might admit it to myself, but I kind of hide a lot of my emotions a lot and self-confidence, I'd probably say. I'd like, I was never that confident. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably as in... In football pitch, once the whistle goes, I'm fine. Yeah. It was just the confidence, you know, I might worry about things, just self-confidence, like believing in myself more. And I think yeah. going on that show, it they made me believe in myself a bit more. That's great to hear. And it's, it, what, what, what was good about the show is it's, they pick up on it straight away. Like, so they, they they've known me a couple, yeah. of, they've known me like one, two days. I'm getting cold here. Um, one, two days, and um, they pick up on it straight away. They're like, they just analyse people. And it's just crazy how they do it. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. But is the self-confidence thing being something from it as a young kid? I think so. I've always, I think the, I think I said that on the show, it's like my intelligence probably at school. I was always probably not one of the brightest. So I probably let that affect me. I probably was embarrassed about it a little bit. Really? Um, yeah. But weren't you, yeah. but weren't you, as you got to <laughs> concentrate on football though? Yeah, I was. I was always football. That's where I always felt. I always felt good, you know, the whistle went or yeah. playing football and it just took me away from anything else. It's all I ever wanted to do, really. But no one gave me shit, did they, back in the day? <coughs> no, not really. Good. No one, good. Ne no one ever gave me any at all. I just, um, I don't know why. It's just, yeah, anything at school, work-wise, I just, I just probably wasn't the brightest. I was all right, mm. but I, let, I probably let it affect me a bit more. Like, even speaking in front of class, I always got embarrassed about doing things like that. Yeah. And really, I shouldn't. I, I, Probably just, you know, I'm me, this is me, and take me as I am type thing. I should have been. Cool. Um, and I think coming off that show is a bit like therapy for me. Well, good. Well, you should yeah. pick yourself up, mate, because you're a bloody good bloke. You've got a Cheers, great career, mate. and you've got a great family. Cheers, mate. You're a legend. <laughs> Let's see how your bunker shot is. <laughs> I see Jimmy bunker shot on Jimmy? your um, thing where you let the club go. Yeah. Mate, it was ridiculous. He I just might have a go at that. I'll end up letting go of it here. He's going to go for a bullard. <laughs> going for a bullard drop shot. He's going for a bullard. Right, Jim, yeah. you are on a bit of a, a bit of a problem here. Plug lie. Yeah. And that's the problem playing for such a vertical tee. But what are you going to do? I'm going to give you a little tip here, right? Yeah. It ain't the coolest tip tip of the week. Yeah. Right. Not joking. I'm not going to give you any other tips apart from this. But when you're bunker, I used to play with a boy called James E. We still do, right? You say, when plug lie, chuck your club at it and let the club go. I was like, what do you mean? He showed me and I'm going to prove to you now. Got to be committed, you've got to dig down on it. Yeah. <laughs> Golf shot. Basically, that's how you play a plug lie. All right, it's travelled on a bit. That's how you play a plug lie. All down to James Eve. Cheers, fella. Here we go. All right. I'm not going to go for it, actually, but I'll try and hit the ball. That's a shot. That is a shot. I'm happy with that. Thank you, That's mate. Thank shot. you. So everyone on the show's still, still chat. Yeah. That's brilliant. 
And, and Middleton, he's, he's, he came on soccer home. He just seems like a really good guy. Yeah, he's a yeah, good guy. Decent footballer as well. Yeah. I think he was at uh, Southampton for a little bit. He had a trial there. Yeah? Yeah. We were about the same age. Yeah. Um, Foxy, great lad. They all like him there, Billy. Yeah. yeah. Billy on there and Ollie. Yeah, they're great. And um, what was good about the show, everyone kept in touch afterwards. Everyone went and watched the final episode together. Yeah. I still speak to all of them, really. You should get um, you should get those boys on your fitness plan. Oh, I should do really, should I? Yeah. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Shot. Take that. Come on. That's nice. That. <laughs> do not think about that bunker right in front of you. He can get through interrogation for 12 hours, hole, but can he chip onto the green? Hole, hole. That's nice, that is nice. <laughs> That's my best shot yet, look at that. <laughs> I thought you'd do your old working out, you know, you straddle your line and that, like Jimmy does. When Jimmy said that, I sort of got it, but I sort of, I, it was, it's the fingers that get me. What are you doing the fingers for? Exactly, I wasn't sure. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, all oh, right, yeah. I didn't understand it when you said put your hand up and your fingers up. I didn't get that I was bit. Just like, he was like, you see it? You see yeah. it? I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Oi! Is he giving it to me? That's the question. What? You, is that a guinea? I don't know, is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, go on then. Yes! Bogey. He needs this. In or out, sir? I ain't got a clue where this is going. Do the finger thing. <laughs> so you stand here, he said, didn't he? You stand there and you see where the ground's going. I've got one leg longer than the other, so I don't think that helps me. <laughs> like two, two centimetres. Seriously? Yeah. I don't, I don't know how so I lasted I think, that long in football. I think that's straight. You can take it out if you want. It's up to you, mate. Go on. Oh, it's a bullet. Oh! oh. I've absolutely tanked. You can tell I ain't played for a while, <laughs> you look. You've been working out. Oh, get on the weights, innit? There we go. Right, that was a hole to forget about. <laughs> Tubes. On to the next. One up. In the four-hole challenge. Oh, right, Bridgie! Bridgie, right, Bridgie. it's uh, 171 yards par three. I hate this hole. It's lovely. I just can't play it. Here we it's go. It's tight. It's very tight. Oh, it's, just, it's a hard course, this, down at Silvermere. Laid up on a par three. <laughs> Laid up on a par three. Come on, Bridgie. That's a shot. That is a shot. Oh my. Oh my. Buzzing with that. That, Whoop. Is a, that is a shot. That is far. Game on, game on. He's back. Look, one hole to warm up, and there he is. So you mentioned on the first hole uh, you fell out of love with football at Man City, and you mentioned the manager. That was uh, Roberto Mancini, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Big fan, Do you know yeah. what? He just treated me like, he just treated me with no respect, I don't think. Um, you know, I had, I think the turning point for him on me was basically, I had an injury, a broken toe, and uh, the doctor basically said, you either have a knock yeah. or you rest. Well, every one you do is gonna be the same recovery. Right. So he, he, he advised me just to rest. But the manager's like, it's little toes, get on with it. But every time I put my boot on, it was hurting. And he said, you're gonna make it worse, then you'll have to have an operation. So he said, you've got to rest. <clears throat> and then I came back and I think, been training like three days yeah. with the actual first team. And he put me in to play 
um, one of the UEFA Cup games. And um, I was more, the morning of that game, we'd done a little bit of training, and I went to play and said, I'm a quad feels tight. I'm not sure about tonight. Yeah. And then as I got on the coach, the manager was effing and blinding at me, called me a girl, called me every name under the sun. And I just said, well, I'll play. Played and tore my quad in two places after about 70 minutes. And then after that, he was literally just done with me. He just washed his hands of me. What, he was literally just going, yeah, oh, just, you're a little girl? And... Yeah, just like literally, he was done with me after that. Um, <clears throat> and then I think he, he, the rest of that season wasn't, we just he didn't like me at all. He, he had a problem with players getting injured a lot. It's not your um, fault, is it? I know, yeah. I remember him with Bro Jerome, Botang, Mika, Rich, when they had little injuries. He always used to get out training, strap it up. It was ridiculous. But then he stuck me with the kids. I was just training with the kids all the time. Um, and then, then, we had a, then we had a proper argument because uh, I was going home for Christmas because yeah. the kids get two weeks off at Christmas. And he went, oh, I know you were the first team now. And I was like, I haven't caused no problems for him. I come along, train with the kids, get on with it. You know, praying for a loan move, if I can get one or getting out, it just, it just never happened on that period. And then he, he just, I just said, you're treating me like a little kid. Yeah. I said, you're only bringing me over here because you don't want me to have any time off and going for Christmas. And I said, and he was like, your problem is you just want money, you don't want to play football. I said, I don't want to play football, you just don't want to play me. And I said, there's no deal that's happened. And there was a couple of deals, loan deals, that ended up, I ended up pushing through. I took less money to go to Brighton. He said it was all about the money. I took less money to go there. Well, so um, he's basically calling you a money grabber? Yeah, basically. And we had a full-blown argument in the end, like in front of all the players. And in the end, he told me to off home for Christmas. So I literally, I went home for Christmas. But I, I, it was like, they were off for like a week, I think. Yeah. Maybe two weeks. But I only went home for three days. But they called me over Christmas and why aren't you here? And I went, we told me to home, so I went yeah. home. If he wants me to come back, he can call me. But I ended up going back after three days anyway. Uh, and he tried to find me, but um, he couldn't because he's when he told me to go on Christmas. Yeah. And obviously, that had like 25 players as witnesses. But yeah, he would just. Because, you know, you had Addy Biol, he was training with the kids, Shay Given, yeah. Craig Bellamy. Like, you know, oh, Bellas was one of Man City's best players when I was there. What did Craig Bellamy have to say about it? He just got on with his business, mate. He's trying yeah. to get out, yeah. But he got sent home as well for arguing with him. That didn't really argue him, he asked him. But what if the other team does this? What do you want me to do? And he used to just tell him to shut up and shut him down. And you know, not Bellas would just keep going with him, wouldn't he? Yeah. So he, he ended up not coming in for like a good few weeks, Bellas. Manager didn't want him around. Um, I remember pre season, he phoned me, said, Don't want you back. Um, you can come back when we're not here. Because he didn't want me being around for the pre season tour. Um, and there's Addy Biol, and like. That's bullying. You know, Addy does what he wants. Yeah. He used to come in and go to the says, I'm injured, see you later, and go home. Whereas <laughs> I would come in and I'd train with the kids yeah. and, I, and, I'd, and I'd still put in the effort and I wouldn't cause anyone any problems. Right. And you know, some of that, I, I lost my head a couple of times with the kids, but like, I remember one of them calling me a has-been and they started, your head would fall off. Do you know what I mean? One of the kids? Yeah, one of the kids called me a has-been. My head just fell Cheeky off in the end bastard. of like, the coast. Like, oh, yeah, you better go in, I think. Um, but yeah, it was difficult. It was difficult. That's, that's bordering on bullying. Yeah, but a little bit. I just think, you know, you should know your players and not. I never caused any problems for him. The only time we ever argued is when he treated me like a little kid. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm, I'm not like some 18, 19 year old starting out. Jesus. Um, but yeah, just. So he's not on the Christmas card list then? No, mate. Not, not to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Bridgie, I'm going for a Cobra, 60 degrees, a little up and down. Up, up and down. Nice, I need, nice. It needs to go close because you are dancing, my friends. See, is Wayne my putt in his gear? I think you might be all right. <laughs> go on. Oh. Unlucky, 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 mate, unlucky. Not enough. Quite happy with the strike, though. Quite happy with the strike. Right. Come on. Little seven iron punch. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. I'd be, I'd be, I'm happy, I'd be happy with that. I'll take that now. I, I, <laughs> I would be happy if it wasn't my third shot. Wayne Bridge for a birdie. And you know what you've got to do? 
If you get a birdie, Bridgie. What's that? You've got to do the birdie dance. What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can do the music. Oh, it's not... Hey. <laughs> That is sensational. It's not bad, that. That is sensational. That's one all. That's is one that all. Give me, yeah? Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Cheers, mate. One all. <sighs> Straight down the middle. Right, so you're coming off the back of a par, and this, this hole is tight. <gasps> Easy does it. Oh my god. No, 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 stay no, there. That's, right. that's my fade, look. That's it. I can, I can see, see it. it. See it. Mate. Looks like a fantasy club, that. <laughs> can I hit a fancy shot, mate? <laughs> that's the question. I made that shating noise when you hit it then, didn't I? I'm going to hit another one. Oh, what the f what am I doing? Hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> sake. What, are you going again? No. Are you no. going again? No. Do you want me to hit you on? <laughs> <laughs> right, this needs to be good. Not on form today. Happy with that. Better, better. Needed it, needed it. So I think we uh, clearly know who your worst manager was. <laughs> <laughs> your mate Robert Mancini. <laughs> um, but who was your best? Who did you love playing for? Uh, it's, uh, well, best as in like best manager, who did I love playing for? Because obviously Mourinho is great. Yeah. But who I loved playing for. If I had to pick two and I didn't think about it too much, I'd probably go Glenn Hoddle and Strachan. Straight away. Yeah. Yeah. Glenn Oddle was, um, he came along the scene at Southampton and uh, he just believed in me so much. Yeah. And he, he brought it up in, in a, a dinner that we went to and he brought up about my self confidence. And he, he said he noticed it when he was there and he just tried to get all the players to basically give him the confidence, give me the confidence to play. And I didn't know he was doing that, but really? he brought that up, which was. Kind of nice, nice to know, really. But he pushed me so much. I yeah. think he chucked my name in the England hat. Um, so he's, and we were playing great football. Yeah. Amazing coach, amazing yeah. coach. And he used to join in as well. He could play still. You really? Yeah. Like, outside of the boot all the time. Yeah. It was brilliant. Strachan was just. He was great. The way he had us playing football as well. You know, he had he had Mars in front of me. His worst and Mars would get tucked in and let Bridget just bomb up and down basically. Yeah. So I just loved playing for him, and he got he got a super fit. We must have been one of the fittest in the league at the time. Um, yeah, I loved playing with him. Obviously, Mourinho won stuff. Yeah, he was. But I had my ups and downs with him a little bit. Do a few rounds yeah. as well. Uh, no, I think I only had one. One in training, I think, where he was just digging me out, and I think I was just. I, f I ended up turning around and saying, what's your problem? Yeah. And that was it. It just ended. He didn't speak to me. Really? <laughs> no. That was the end of that? That was the end of that. He just didn't even reply to me. That was it. Oh. We carried on. But yeah, with him, I had some good spells. Um, played well and then didn't. And obviously, Ashley came. So things like that. So I never played as much. So, but playing wise, Strachan and Hodder, I was playing all the time. And they were great. Yeah. Marino, I, I think there was one point where I turned a corner of him and I was playing really well and then I went and broke my leg against Newcastle. <laughs> we had Barcelona the following week. Yeah. And he actually come and said to me, like, you've been doing really well lately, keep going and like you'll you'll be playing in the Champions League and stuff, so and then I went and broke my leg. But when you told him to f off, do you think that was he I, I didn't tell him I wouldn't wash your Yeah, wash your problem. Yeah. Do you think do you think he's thinking, do you know what, he cares? <laughs> He might have, yeah. Do you know what, he's I don't right. know, he never said anything yeah. to me. He was always alright with me, do you know what I mean? There yeah. was times where I thought, oh, it was a bit harsh. Uh, yeah. I got dragged off at half time against, I think it was Wigan. Yeah. And he never said a word to me. Yeah. He was, um, he, he was good. He was good. He was, you know, the training was amazing. Yeah. But if you didn't play and you come in training Monday, you're excited because it was always good. It was energetic. The players had never played. Right. I loved it. But yeah, it was, uh, I was never his one of the favourites, I mean, that was going to play week in, week out, so that was hard sometimes. Yeah. And I think me saying, you know, what's 
problem whereas I wasn't playing and then he was on my case a bit in training my head just went and my head doesn't really go that much to be yeah. honest. Try not to whip that tree in front of me. Nice. Decent. Scolari when I left Chelsea is brilliant. He, um, I, was, I go in to see him like Man City have come in. I don't really like chains. I was happy at Chelsea. I mean, because I'm yeah. still playing games. I yeah. still probably play 25, 30 games. I know I want to play every week. But I went in to say, oh, Man City are interested. And he just went, are they offering you more money? And I went, yeah. And he went, I'll oh, just go then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah. Really value me that much. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? He obviously <laughs> wasn't bothered about me going, like, yeah, just go. <laughs> All right, that, that's my decision made then. <laughs> if you can do you more money, yep. yeah. See, see you later. later. <laughs> <laughs> What's a legend? I know, it's quite funny. <laughs> what, what was your reaction like? So, uh, you I, people, just, I you, just sat there, I was like, uh, yeah, all right, yeah, cool, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> so you be Wayne Bridge, I'll be Big Phil Scolari. Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> um, all right, boss, so... Uh, Come in, sit down. Yeah, uh, mm. all right, boss. Uh, Man City uh, want me? I just wondered, like, what you thought. Are they paying you more money? Yeah. See you later, then. <laughs> All right, cheers, boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird, you know what I mean? You think, oh, you know, we'd like you to stay and stuff like that. And it's just like, no, yeah, see you later. <laughs> that is wicked. Where's, that's yours, isn't it? Or is that mine? Oh, is that mine there? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, f off. Oh, oh. Another manager I thought and I've heard good things about was when I went Sunderland, Martin O'Neill. Martin O'Neill? I didn't get that. No. I didn't get it. Apparently he's a brilliant weird. man manager. Yeah, I didn't get it. No? No. It was weird. Like, he'd come in, you wouldn't know the team, yeah. you wouldn't know the formation, you wouldn't just read the names off who's starting and just walk out. It's just weird. <laughs> just what? like. What, wouldn't say anything? No. It's like, here's the team, blah, 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 you're on the bench and then walk out. Job and done. You obviously give a the guy a bit mental at half time and say some stuff, but training as well, just yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't get why everyone's like so a lot of lads spoke highly of him, I just didn't get it. Well, it doesn't sound like he did a lot. No, I didn't think he done much. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. Read out the team sheet and didn't take training. Yeah. And loved giving the lads a day off when they won, which I think that's probably why the lads loved <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's why they liked it. <laughs> Shot. Come on. Yeah. Nice shot there. Is that dance floor? Maybe. Have you ever seen a manager fight a player? Seen a manager fight a player? Don't think I have. No. I've seen Kesman at Chelsea Mateo have Kesman. a proper row with Mourinho after the game. But Ke <coughs> I think Kesman coming in, he struggled the whole time he was there a bit, yeah. didn't he? He never really got going. No. And he, his head was just gone with Mourinho. But um, they didn't really fight. But he, I think Kez would have had it, definitely. Really? He's ready to go. He, he looks so like a Mourinho lunatic. had, you know, all this stuff. It was never really going to happen. His head was just gone. What happened then? I can't remember if it was he got brought off or he battered him or something. It was one of the games. And I just remember being sat down in the dressing room and Kez had come in. He was this and he was swearing and that. And then Mourinho obviously heard it and said something. Yeah. And then that was it. They were just going at each other. But I think in terms of managers, I think it's just stories, really. What do you do as a player, though, when that's going on? Do you just sit there going, oh, oh, oh this is a bit awkward? Yeah, I, was, I always kind of stood there if anything was going on, I think, most of the time, even yeah. in, during games. And my missus used to like laugh. He said, like, everyone's all huddled up having a row and you're stood there like with your hands on your hips or <laughs> twiddling your hair while it's all going off. <laughs> And it is a bit like, because nothing's going to happen, is it? Yeah. It's, if, it's on a football pitch. Because you're a lover, It always hater. ends up like... Oh, you push me, I'll push you. Or like, yeah. and when someone does an headbutt, you know they go down. It's never like a proper headbutt, is it? It's oh, like it's a nice. push yeah, headbutt. It's a little, little nose rub. And it's yeah, it's never going to. You like up the hardcore stuff, pit. yeah? No, I don't. I don't <laughs> like fighting. I don't like fighting. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I've heard stories of Sunez and Hutchinson. Don, and Hutchinson. I've been around. Yeah, I've yeah. Heard, yeah, I've heard stories, but I've never seen it. Never seen it. I don't think the managers I've had would probably have it. Avran Grant definitely would have. Right. <laughs> when he used to lose it, it was like weird because he's losing it, but he's really calmly spoken. It was just weird. <laughs> Avran Grant, I just absolutely 
It's myself laughing if Avram Grant lost it at me. Oh, he looks a bit like a rodent, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, God. Oh, I just... He's a nice guy, do yeah. you know what I mean? I just don't think he's a football manager. No. <laughs> Go on. Keep going. Go on. Go on. Oh, that will do. Oh, that will a bit do. Short in it. That will do. I don't know what he came in to do, to be honest. I didn't really get it. Yeah. But I remember thinking he was a fan. He was at the coach. <laughs> it was pre-season, <laughs> and it's the first time I've ever seen him. And he was stood at the coach and he was shaking some players' hands. And I thought he was asking for autographs, and I kind of pied <laughs> him off. <laughs> he didn't ask for autographs. I thought he was like this fan. I can't remember. He, I can't remember what he said. I felt bad, and uh, he got on the coach, and I was like, what's he doing getting on the coach? And then someone told me who he was. <laughs> he thought it was a competition I winner. Was, I don't know what he was. <laughs> didn't really know what was going on, to be honest. I was just in my own world. <laughs> and then he got on the coach, and I who's that? That's <laughs> Avram Grant, going to be your manager. <laughs> oh. That is awesome. Mate. Ah, so good, so good, good chip. Too much. Though. That's a hard shot. That. Yeah. I mean, you've won this hole already, don't you? What three off the tee? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You have won. I don't even really think about yeah. that, to be honest. Although my putting could let me down here. Uh, you, you never know. If you, don't, if you don't win from here, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Tell you what, oh. decent that. I've played all right after the three absolute shockers. That's probably the worst I've ever played golf. Those first, those first three shots off the tee. It's playing with me, isn't it? Absolute, no, nah, not at all. <coughs> oh, unlucky. No, unlucky. Nice it's bogey, weak. though. It's weak, Part wasn't it? Bogey. Wayne Bridge, 2-1 one up, 1-up. One up. I like doing <laughs> football scores. 2-1, one. One to did. play. Oh, no. So, 2-1 up. <laughs> playing Jeez, all right. I can't believe it. Playing all right. To be fair, though, you, you have... You haven't played that well, have you? No. You play a lot better usually, yeah, from what I've seen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unless that's good video editing. No, to editing. be fair, to be fair, what we do, we yeah. keep everything in. Yeah. So that, that is just pathetic, what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking about arguments and fighting and stuff like that. Tell me about Mario Balotelli. Oh, mate. I just, I can't, I couldn't handle him. It's, you know, some, there's a lot of players found him funny. I just found him very arrogant. Yeah. Very cocky. Had no, I don't think he had any respect for for people um, in terms of you're late for training. First thing you do is run in the train, get your kit on, get out as quick as you can. Yeah. I remember him just strolling over, pulled out a car, put this on his phone. All right, boss, yeah, I'm late. I'm just like, idiot. Yeah. And there was just this one time. Um, he never bothered me that much as in terms of I just thought you're an idiot. There's yeah. one time he really bothered me when I done a sponsor, got some sponsors off the lads for my mate who was um, doing a long walk with like a weighted, weighted rucksack to help the heroes. Oh, yeah, and cool, um, cool. Yeah. everyone was going to pay this day. And we were training, and he can't remember exactly what happened. I think he left a bit on me, um, so I had a little niggle back. Nothing too amazing. He cut. He then he elbowed me in the face. And then that is it. I was just running around the pitch after him, like my head had just gone. Um, and then, obviously, they stopped the game, so there was me just running after Balotelli. And then they, <laughs> then they had to put us on the same team, so nothing could happen. Yeah. And then we go in the changing room anyway, and I'm speaking to the lads about paying. And then he's obviously not happy because of what happened on the pitch. And he said something. I, I take it it was French because Patrick Vieira started laughing. Yeah, so I asked Pat what he said, he didn't want to tell me, and um, he, Mario Tally's going off in French still, and then Pat just tell me. He wouldn't really tell me anything he said, but basically said, I ain't giving you the money, you can pay it, um, because of what happened on the training pitch. But he obviously said a few more things. Yeah. And then I started shouting at him, and then 
I, I think I think I just went to go up to him and then he ran out the door of the changing room. I was just like, oh, he's a f <laughs> right. Jesus. I just, I just hated him. I think he's so arrogant. Like, I know someone mentioned about Zlatan and some of the things he says. Yeah. And, you know, he can come across as arrogant or and this, like, confidence thing. I think Mario Bellatelli had so much confidence and arrogance about him. Yeah. And he's just, I just didn't like the way he was in particular. He didn't, I don't think he carried it well. But Lad Sla found Slatan's it funny. Got Zlatan's got up. a bit about him. He yeah. sets it up. I remember, like... I think it was Mourinho said something about Balotelli, like he'd be decent if he had one brain cell. And that literally sums him up. He's so dumb. Like he's doing me head in. <laughs> but it's like he hasn't really done anything in his career. No, that's what I mean, but he was an amazing he's got so much ability as well. Yeah. So much ability. He could have been he could have done so much, I think. He's balls doing I think, he just, I just think sometimes he thinks he's too cool for school. So <laughs> Some oh. people found him funny, it's just annoying me. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, no. To be fair, right, if the water weren't there, I'd probably hit the green, but now I'm thinking water, I just know I'm going to end up in it. <laughs> Bridgie cannot lose, but I can tie. There's a big lake in front of you. Good luck. Seven iron. Didn't feel right, it didn't feel right. <laughs> Oh, what a shot. <laughs> I thinned it. I felt like I thinned it a little bit as well, but I'm happy. Mate. It's decent. It's decent. <laughs> what a strike, mate. Seriously. The heat is on. Great shot, mate. Cheers, mate. Really good shot. Step back if you feel like you're not right, like I did. I never do, I never really have any practice swings. Like, yeah. I always just go down yeah. and do it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, you're bring, bringing it round. Oh, no, I stayed out right. Ooh. Oh, good length that. Take good that. Length. That would have been on the pin if it was straight. I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. Decent. Two good ones. Bridgie, you're married to the lovely Frankie. I've met her, she's an absolute legend. Yeah. How did you guys meet? <laughs> it's actually in a club. <laughs> Putting that out some moves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know we had to have a bit of a dance off actually at one point. Yeah. I do think I could dance after a beer. <laughs> um, but it was James Corden kind of takes a part in it a little bit. Oh yeah. Because um, he was there, so yeah. I thought he knew Frank. So I asked what she was like. Yeah. And uh, he ended up getting her phone and putting my number in it, and putting her number in my phone somehow, I don't know how. And uh, me and her had a little banter, and I don't know why, but I said to her, oh, you're not my type anyway, or something like that at yeah. some point, I don't know why. <laughs> Trying to play hard to get, I don't know why. As if she was, as if cool, she was, Rodney, in, as if she was cool. interested in me anyway. <laughs> and then we kind of spoke, yeah. but like, do you know, I wasn't getting much back, so I just left it, to be honest, never bothered right. texting again or anything like that. Yeah. And then we bumped into each other on a few more nights out. And then she messaged me on Facebook. <laughs> I still on put the Facebook? messages, yeah. It was weird. It's one of them things. Don't you get things? I never really used it. Do you get things come up like uh, a recommended friend or something like yeah, that? Yeah, and yeah. I popped up. She just messaged me out of the blue. And uh, she asked how I'd been and stuff. And then we ended up exchanging numbers on that. And basically, we ended up organising dinner at Zuma. Mad. And then, uh, yeah, it just went from that, really. That's crazy. So yeah. it all came through James Corden. James Corden. And Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Good old Facebook. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, yeah, that was it. We went on one dinner. Yeah. And then I think two days later, she came up to Manchester to see me. And then it was Christmas time. She went back home. Then she came back up to see me again. And then January, I ended up going to West Ham. Yeah. And I stayed at Earth hers for a while and her mum's a West Ham fan and uh, yeah. Match made in heaven. Yeah, it was all, all went pretty quick really. Well I'm absolutely pleased here when you've got two lovely kids haven't you? Yeah, so, brilliant. Fan fantastic. Hard work like. Yeah, yeah. but no, all good. Um, but didn't you once have to do uh, a Saturday song? <laughs> <laughs> 
as that, an, an, an initiation. Every, I think every club I went to, you had to do a song, well, most of them, not every single one. And uh, the Brighton lads was the one where I was done the Saturday song, basically. <laughs> but basically, this was ridiculous. I knew I was going to have to do a song, so me and Frank were going along in a car on the way out. Um, into London for a meal, I think we were going. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, do you know what, babe? I'm going to sing it. I'm going to do the dance moves as well. Could you teach me the dance moves quick? <laughs> so we were literally in the back of this cab yeah. and she showed me all these dance moves. <laughs> and then I ended up going there and doing like the full routine. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? it? Well, there's a slut drop involved in it. <laughs> God, <laughs> and like, got to and I don't this. know why. <laughs> But every night out, every now and then, if I've had a little bit too much, the slut drop ends up coming out because she taught it to me. <laughs> on, she went, that. oh, you're actually quite good here. <laughs> no, I'll do it if I win this all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, that's when, that, like, when I talked about going back, going to Brighton and loving football again. Yeah. Like, I went there, the lads were great, you know. Was, they took the out of me a lot. You know, the first gym session, the Saturday song was the routine for half hour. Right, yeah. The gym routine for half hour, like listening to Saturdays. But they were a good laugh. But you've done awfully well, don't you? You are punching a bit. I am punching. You? Yeah, I know I'm punching, <laughs> but yeah. So <laughs> what? Happy days. All that <laughs> Winning. Yeah, I'm just a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you've met on Facebook. Well, not met, but it happened through Facebook. Yeah, I know, yeah. It was one of them as well. When she messaged me, it was like I was laying... How would, you, how would you word it again? Like, I was teeing her up for her to give an answer of us going out, basically. Do you right. know what I mean? Like, slyly. Yeah. And she went to me, well, it wasn't sly. <laughs> if it pops up on Facebook, Frankie Brit, oh, no, Frankie, what's it, San Sand? Sanford, yeah. Sanford. I'd think it's a fake account. Just go, yeah, all right. I didn't, uh, didn't no. really think, to be honest. No. <laughs> <laughs> she was actually 45 minutes late. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, so I ended up... Good girl. There was a couple of girls that started chatting to me in the bar, so when she walked in, I was like, they, I didn't approach them, they were just chatting to me. <laughs> Absolute player, Don. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, love. Right, this you need to go close. It's not bad, Gee, it's, it's right. not bad. It's all right. Oh, that's poor, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. I thought it was... That is bad. That is real bad. Come on. You want me to take that out? I'm all right. I'm going to keep it in, actually. It's going gonna, gonna to roll this. Right. Sleeves up. I mean business. Puts this in, pressure's on. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he sunk it as well. <laughs> What's the slut drop? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, in or out, <sighs> sir? I'd leave it in then. Wayne Bridge to win the four pole challenge. It's gone as well, look at it. That's gone miles away. Oh, that is a joke. Well done, geese. It's a draw. No. Unbelievable, mate. Thank, Thank you, you, mate. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, it's only fair we finish on the top drop, eh? All right, go, go on, on then. <laughs> Got to get low, geese. Get a bit of a squat going on. Then you're like, like arching back up. <laughs> I'm not, it was better before, I was a bit more flexible that before. That was the four on challenge, that was Wayne Bridge. What a guy, love him. <laughs> Get practising your slut drops. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yeah!